Okay, to Silka, and she is making the movement here with her seat bones so that her seat bones are rising and falling separately. And the more she draws up, the more the machine comes up, so you get a much bigger movement, more like a water bug. It's still quite a soft, a springy movement, but it's really making her use her back and her seat gear to be able to do that. Now, if you want to bring it back to a smaller movement, Silka, yeah. So that would be more like a, a, a movement of a small moving horse. And then if you wanted to just um, to bring it almost back down to a walk, so it's a very, very small movement and just the pelvis making this, yeah. So even less, because there's obviously no spring in the walk, it's just purely a, a much flatter movement, yeah. And then when you want to take it back up to sitting trot again, more of a side up, 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 okay, good. Without pushing with the seat, making sure that the seat bones are still separating. Yeah, there's a little bit of extra push together there. Trying to keep the back a little flatter so that I couldn't, shouldn't be able to see your Clarino seat showing on the back of the saddle. Yeah, bring your pelvis back just a little bit. Yeah, that's it. So now you're completely upright and absorbing that movement very nicely here in the lower back. Now if you want to go to canter, although this is actually in the canter mode, so it's a backward circle of the pelvis. Did quite a nice transition there from sitting trot to canter. Yeah. So if you're not polishing the saddle at all, if you polish the saddle, it will actually stop. So as the rider's back, well, the backside's going against the movement as opposed to drawing it up into the seat. Yeah. Okay, now go back to drop. So you're sucking up to that right, left, right of the seat, yeah. As opposed to the um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three of the canter, she's now doing one, two, two, one, two, like that, and allowing the back to lift on either side. Yeah. And it really is, makes you use your core as well, doesn't it? <laughs> Silk is German, so she's uh, she's already got a good strong seat compared to a lot of British riders. <laughs> Yeah, good. Do you want to try your rising trot now? And here she has to push down a little bit on the stirrups to get the lift. So the more she pushes down, the bigger the movement gets. So it replicates much more like a big moving horse up than our uh, Iberians. And then we've got one Iberian that does have a very good job. Yeah. Making sure you have it in. Yeah. And making sure you're not coming down with a double bump. So it's a little bit more swimming towards back. Yeah, super. And back to sitting drop. Making sure that it's separating the seat bones again and you're not pushing the bones together. That's it. I do feel that, you know, if you did half an hour on this every day, it's quite a workout. And, uh, but it's also perfectly possible to teach beginners right the way through to more advanced riders. It certainly gives you an exercise regime. Okay, and rest. Oh, looking quite rosy in the face now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Get more red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>